here is the newest model I've been working on for my game, The Afflicted Forest. It's called the Plague Spore. It has three tentacles and will also shoot things out the top, spray around some plague goo, and effectively create lots of this green stuff all over the ground so it can spawn more plague things to help it out. So the most notable thing about this is that I'm using inverse kinematics with Mini's dynamic anim control from JMonkey Engine. And that means that the tentacles can follow me around here dynamically. It's not being used for any swing animations quite yet, still need to work on that. Do some stuff with curves and animations to make it interpolate smoothly, interpolate, interpolate. But you can see here, follows her around wherever she goes. Spawn in some more of them. You can see they work very well. They don't have much of a frame rate drop at all, despite having about 36 bone links each, which is quite a lot. But I believe because they don't really intersect with the ground or other physics objects, they'll work very well to be, have an advanced uh, animation structure here. And the results are pretty great here. Much more advanced than you do with static animations. As you can see here, when they spawn in, they'll, initi they'll initially be playing static animations, but that won't quite work for attacking the player. If the player is standing between two of these, that's why you need dynamic animations with inverse kinematics. To make the model, you'll just see here I was doing it in Blender. Just a quick wireframe view to see there are indeed a lot of bones. And here are a few of the animations I made just to calculate the range of the motion for dynamic anim control. Although I will be using some of them, for example, this one will be a good static animation to play to knock all nearby enemies away. But for the most part, they were just needed to calculate ranges of motion. And I did the texturing here in Substance Designer, uh, Substance Painter here. And you can see just a simple one texture. It could definitely be improved in the future, but just dragged and dropped this here to create that, change some parameters down here to make it more green. Originally it was a more red color, but for my game went green to match the plague all over the ground. So far it's pretty basic, but the foundation for everything's there. Just need to write up a few anima dynamic animations for the dynamic attacks, whereas right now it's just following her around, but it still looks pretty neat just seeing the tentacles follow her all around. Oh, and there's one dying. It's quite glitched out right now with the shader it's using. Need to work on that for this model specifically, apparently, but for now it's looking pretty decent. This is an idea of what an attack would look like, probably swing from one side to the other. Right now I just have to jump over top of it to get them to follow me this way, but I'll likely have this as the start point for a swing, and then the top of the character's head will be the end point to get something like this with the tentacles moving faster. And we'll be able to attack up to three people at once, which will also be pretty neat for multiplayer. But that's about it. 